Is she ready? I think so. But we're about to find out. Question is, are you ready to take it to a whole nother level? I be hustling. I stay hustling. I be hustling. What a cost is. Believe it. Yes, I am your hustling homie, your platform partner, Dr. Jackson, making things happen. Addicted to action in that order. And today we got somebody special here. Uh, we have a specialist. I have Chin Yera Achebe. Absolutely. She, I wanted to really bring you to the show because we have a lot of uh, entrepreneurs, people that want to have a high performance lifestyle, and they they looking at the power of meditation. First of all, welcome to the show. You're, Thank you're you looking for lovely. having me. I'm so grateful to be here. I've been seeing just all that you're doing on YouTube and it is amazing. And I feel honored and privileged to be on the show. What, what's something that you personally have discovered about meditation that has just really just changed your mind towards it that maybe other people have no idea about? Um, so for me, meditation has been space. Right, as an entrepreneur, as someone who is constantly going, I'm a single mom and I move in a lot of different circles. I find that it's easy to take on people's energy. And when you are needing to be decisive and make a quick decision and be very quick on your feet, you need to know and have confidence that that decision you made was the best decision. And so meditation allows you space to just be in your body so you can become aware of your no's and your yeses so that your decisiveness can be your own versus being the opinions of others, the needs of others, the wants of others. And for me, meditation has been that solace, that place of rest in between each thought and each decision. Okay, so you said so meditation can actually impact decision making. That's that's very interesting. Mm -hmm. So, um, do you find who are some of the people that you see and that are benefiting that are really gravitating towards it the most in your practice? Mm -hmm. Do you see it being more? Is it like artistic people? Is it business folks? Like who are you seeing the people that that really understand the power and they're kind of and capitalizing off of it? Yeah, well, within Raise Your Chi. Um, which is my practice platform where mm -hmm. I do coaching and meditation and um, being with people. My, my motto is um, uh, helping people to be their own guru and uh, feeling good about it. And so within that practice, I work with professors. Mm -hmm. I work with, um, I have two professors that I work with at a major Ivy League school. I've seen improvements in just their assertion to life and how they are stepping and embodying uh, their practice. I've worked with activists, movement builders around reproductive justice. I've worked with um, beings within the LGBTQ community who are looking to um, just kind of solidify their identity and the way that they're seen. Um, I've worked with CEOs. I've worked with pastors, ministers. Um, I've worked with children. That's, that's my favorite demographic. Mm -hmm. I've worked with teens. Um, there's really not anyone that this practice um, doesn't work for and that was so, the goal. So why, why would a person, because typically when you hear meditation, most people they do it by themselves. So why would a person need, uh, I guess, the extra support to help them with guiding them through the process? Um, so my idea of um, Raise Your Chi is mm -hmm. that you can, um, just like you, it's a metaphor for life, it's a metaphor for um, how we have been raised or raised our children. And the idea is just coaching and guidance through that process, but by no means does anyone need anyone else. And that's what the whole purpose of my mission is, to unleash, to access, to um, implore your inner guru. Is, it a ben is there a benefit though by having somebody? Like an, an, you know. Of course, there's always the benefit of having a support system. So um, I try and make these practices very accessible okay. to people because the idea of having someone else is having accountability, having um, someone to cheer you on, someone to um, provide you with support and to constantly reflect the person that you really are versus the one you think you are, right? Because when we're in the... The, um, when I say that, meaning if our thoughts aren't aligned with where we want to be, 
it's actually working against our progress. And so sometimes we need those people that just reflect that who we are so that we can change our belief system to align with the truth of who we are. Mm, that's, that's, that's really powerful. So it's a, a really big self-discovery process, also decision-making process. Uh, okay, so what, what would you say is perhaps um, one thing that a person made a mistake or a misconception that people have about meditation? Um, so one, you said my favorite word I, I want to do, I don't know if any of you all remember um, Pee Wee's Playhouse and how they, when they would have the word of the day, they would, ah, that's my word. Whenever I hear people say mistakes, word mistake. because I, I personally don't subscribe to the idea that there are any mistakes and I um, work with my uh, practitioners or if you would call them clients, um, I work with them to kind of really view that premise so but I won't stay there but anyway um, one misconception about meditation in a lot of spiritual practices is that you have to sit and force yourself to do it um, or like you know if, you know there are people who say I can't pray I don't know how to pray or I can't meditate I don't know how to meditate and it is my belief that there is nothing wrong with us that we're always aligned and that even when we're not able to meditate or we're not able to pray or do any spiritual practice, that that practice is already happening within us. I believe that it's an awareness, a shift in perspective, a shift in consciousness that is sometimes needed. And so if you or I or anyone adopt the belief that I already am complete or I already um, operate in completeness, the, it's an easier step to the next logical place of being in meditation and that can happen on the train that can happen right where you are and that's the whole idea the misconception that you need to be in Bali or you need to go to um, you know your local yoga studio which it's great and I am having events there very soon so I'll let you you know um, when we have those coming up but outside of that you can do it right where you are right where you are. So can you talk a little bit about the power of meditation with getting in your body mm -hmm. uh, and even the power of like connecting with your body and I know you got like this this new meditation thing that I heard that's growing too. Can you yes. touch on that a little bit? Yes, 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 yes. Um, so one of the things you know I work with my clients on is a lot of times we'll look at this isn't happening in my life so i need to do all of these major changes um, i need to now go out and buy incense and sage and i need to do all these things get the crystals and the stones and the tarot cards and all of that stuff those are helpful and those are tools right and before we can access those other modalities to reach a point of climax or a point of and when i say climax being that total point of bliss that total point of home um, when we in order to do that sometimes it needs to be simple things like am I getting enough rest am I eating properly am I saying no when needed how am I protecting my boundaries so a lot of times we'll look at these things like oh I need self-care let me go get my nails done versus let me just go to sleep. <laughs> Let me stop looking at my phone in the middle of the night. And part of my meditations or the meditations that I offer are just simple opportunities to recognize the body. The body. When was the last time you looked at your fingers and you just said, hey fingers, I love you. When was the last time you looked at the lines right in the palm of your hand and just appreciated them right so it's an opportunity to really connect with self because it's my belief that if we can get in our bodies we can access the inner guidance the inner pendulum the inner peace or the inner pieces that can guide us to our alignment so it's a great body step um the advanced practice and I, I'm just okay. teasing when I say advanced uh, that you were asking about is the body positivity 
um, meditation and that's where we honor a new part of our body each day yesterday was booby day god lift us up where we okay. okay anyway Boobies. um so, but, but it's honoring every part of your body and really giving it an opportunity to shine right so that's pretty much what that is so that's that's powerful so we just you just that you said so much uh from from the power of getting into your body to yes. decision making to being focused to getting to know yourself i mean it sounds like a, a process to almost become a superhero yes that's what it sounds yes. like and be or a, a guru or a your guru. own guru what if you could look and wake up every day and see a guru in the mirror and it's you and it's been you all along that's so dope <laughs> So, yeah. so 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 with that being said I mean this is the you know uh, the shut up and hustle show where we really want to people uh, to just exercise their potential and not just look at a video and actually take that step yeah so if a person wanted to let's say get plugged in with you whether it be locally mm -hmm. or it be digitally yeah how would they go about doing it um, so you can reach me at uh, raise your chi at gmail.com I also have a Instagram page at raise your chi or um rate i am underscore inner underscore chi uh, i know that was a mouthful but the simple answer is raise your chi at gmail.com raise your chi at gmail.com yes all right and perfect and so what we want you to do is when, when they go there, we need to have, because then you got some online products too, right? I That's do. Like, yeah, I like have a, a meditation. Yeah. And I also have a YouTube page. Um, there's a lot of great things in the works. We are getting the website. <laughs>